Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Underrated Cricketers. Today, we are talking about Damian Martin, Australian batsman, another one known for his cover drive. Damian Martin had an average of 46.4 in Test Match Cricket and 40.8 in ODIs. In T20, he had an average of 30, which is very good for T20, and he also played a bit of IPL. He played one match and got 19 runs off that. He averaged 49.3 in first class cricket, and this is where the fun begins. He is a player that has certainly been underlooked. Yes, we've heard about him. Yes, we say what a great cover drive he has, but I think the media need to give him a bit more attention because he is a champion at cricket. That's one thing for sure. Well, he was a match winner for Australia, especially if Gillian Ponting, they got out early. Who was supposed to bat? It would be Damian Martin who would get fantastic innings. He was that player that held Australia together if Australia's two probably best batsmen somehow got out. So it was a very, very smart way of having him in the order. To sort of bat at number four, bat with Ricky Ponting, and make fantastic partnerships. That was his goal. And if you notice, lots of his innings came out to the crease when they were two or three down, and he consolidated. And that is why he is an underrated cricketer. Well, this is sort of what the Australian top order look like at the back end of Martin's career. But he would have that crucial role at number four on keeping the innings solid with Ponting. We know that Ponting's more about consistency and Damian Martin just occasionally gets a really, really good innings. That's how he works. But it happens when needed. Well, as we know, batting is a balance between consistency and how often you get a very, very good innings. So there could be batsmen that score 100 every third match and every, t and every other time they get out for a duck. Well, they're still a great player, but they average 33. Then there are players like Ponting that basically got a 50 almost every match, averaged about 50. And they weren't expected to score double hundreds all the time, although he did score some amazing innings. And then the cricketers that are the complete opposite. So Damian Martin, I'd say, is more of a cricketer who would occasionally get a brilliant innings and occasionally have a poor innings. Towards the end of his career, he was competing with Michael Clarke, which made it a lot harder, and he retired eventually. So that was sort of... 2006 was sort of the back end of Australia's brilliant cricket. Like, there was a time and place for when we had great cricket. That was in the 90s, 2000s. There's also a lot of underrated cricketers from the 60s and 70s, which we'll continue to talk about in this series. Thank you so much for watching. Share your thoughts in the comments and like and subscribe.